Ford Field welcomes us for this matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Detroit Lions. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you've got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle them. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. He's wide open for the grab. Well, it's a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. That reception gave them the first down. They're going to get him this time. Bill, we heard from the defense they wanted to get to the quarterback early and often, and they've gotten to him early. Well, they're off to a good start, no doubt about that. The offensive line, they got to know they're in for a long, tough battle today, and they better toughen up. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Well, when you get in situations like this third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it, because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Stafford in shotgun formation. Looking across the middle, makes the grab. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job that time by the defense. They get the fourth down situation here. They were bending a little bit, but they didn't give up the big play. Good job. Burleson's lined up in the slot. Intercepted. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Sims is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and ten, Lamar Miller with the carry. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. On second and ten, throws to the right. The Dolphins now move the chains. And he's brought to the ground. Good route that time by the wide receiver on the out route. Nice throw by the quarterback. This is what they call a timing route. Well, they were right on time. First down following the long play. It's Miller. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Sims is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Four yards. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Third and seven. Sims is there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. And he's across for the touchdown. 
you got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Their catch signal. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. First and ten. Oh, good job by the linebacker knocking that pass down that time. All he did was watch the eyes of the quarterback, and he reacted. It put him in good position, and he knocks the football down. Burleson in the slot. Second attempt. Going off tackle here. Breaks away. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. Burleson lined up now as a slot receiver. Staying with the running game on first down. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. Burleson is a receiver in the slot. They hand it off to him again. This will be second down. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Scrambling out of the pocket, looking for an open receiver on the right. Going to lose yards here. Well, Jim, you know that's got to be disappointing to the defensive lineman. They think, wow, we got a sack. They can't bring the quarterback down. Not only that, he breaks away and still gets a short completion. Burleson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The Lions get a first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Second down. Matthew Stafford looking long. Lions are in for the score. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. To kick it. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. Keller's a receiver all the way out to the right. The handoff running behind the tackle. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time, stopping the outside run for a little game. Second and 10. And he's going to be brought down. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? They 
sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. What a job by the defensive player. Second straight play, he has got a sack. And what do you have to do on the offensive side? Change it up. Use your running back. Help out the offensive line. It's apparent they cannot block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a chance to return this one. In on the stop. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed. They hustle. They're all around him, and they only give up a couple yards. First down on the way. Burleson's going to take the handoff now. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That leads us to second down. Stafford's got it in the gun. That ball is picked off. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. down coming up Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun and he hauls it in nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short they get the completion they still do not get the first down though 15 minutes down 45 minutes to go and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. First and ten. Miller's called on once again. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. After running it, it's second down. From the shotgun, he'll fire it out to the left. Breaks free. And the tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. Reaches out and grabs it. The tackle is made. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Here's the first snap after the big play. Miller's hand at the football. And he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Dolphins for the extra point. There is a flag throw. Driving extra point is good. Offside. Defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Dolphins set to kick it. Stop the play right there. Forty 
First down here. Burleson's got it on the handoff. They tack on for a loss. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Burleson's going to secure the handoff. He's got some daylight. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Burleson's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Slashing to the right side. Gains nine. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. First and ten. They'll run it with him again. And here he goes. They pounce on him there. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Midway, second quarter. He wants to go deep. But it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Offense lines up here. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, but it falls incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The defense stops the clock. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Fourth and long, you got so little chance of having success in a situation like this. I only have one question. Why did you go for it? The Lions lined up in the nickel. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and ten, and the give to Lamar Miller. Breaks free, and he spins away. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really... Just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Tannehill from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. No room to complete that one. The 
Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Tannehill's back in shotgun formation. Makes the grab. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, I think we're seeing something we see with so many teams now in the NFL. Running backs who can do it all. This guy can run, block, and he can catch short passes and make long gains after it. Nice job. Count it. Touchdown. When you talk about fast running backs, you don't have to give them a lot. Block them a little bit with his speed. He sees that opening, and he can make it happen. Takes it all the way for the touchdown run. Extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Burleson's in the slot. First down and 10. Stands in the pocket. In trouble now. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. Second down and 10 as they go ground here. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, these plays do look ugly, but they don't work. It's it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. That ball has been picked off. Shakes off the tackle. They bring him to the turf. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. It's first down as they head to the line. Miller's taking the handoff. He'll go to the left. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. First down here after the run. Into the open flat. With two hands, he has it. Holds him to seven. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. And now they'll try over again on second down. Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. This is third down. Daniel Thomas carries the football. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. And he drives it through for the field goal. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. defense time now first and ten challenging the defenders to the right side nowhere else to go and he's out of bounds well this defense cover four where four defensive backs are back there deep it stops all the big passes down the field but look at these crossing routes wide open hit them and let them catch it run and you still get the big plays Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Throws to the right. Interception. Bringing the play to an end. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception.
They face first down. Lamar Miller with the carry. Slashes to the left side. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. First and 10. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That brings the play to an end. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. It's Miller. Now makes the move to the right. An off-tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL, and a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. It's now second down. Tannehill from the gun. Tannehill on target and finds Mike Wallace with the completion. That does it for the first half. Lions trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Dolphins are leading by 17. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Sims is playing out of position in the backfield here. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. The wide receiver in motion. First and 10, Miller's going to take the handoff now. Good piece of tackling. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. It's kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs resting their defense and tiring out the opponent's defense. Sims is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. Second down now. And the give now to Daniel Thomas. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Middle linebacker. That means stay in the middle and make it happen. That time, he takes on the block, gets off of it, makes the hit for no gain. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and ten. Miller's handed the football, and the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Hey, man, 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 man. 
Offense lines up here. Third down and four. The Dolphins now move the chains. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. Brings it into his body. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. the give to Lamar Miller. The Dolphins get a first down. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course it'll be a touchdown. for error from just outside the goal line. Jim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down it. Play after play after play here on this drive. and a goal from the three. Looking to the right side and throwing. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury and I just, well, I hope the best. This has been a long drive so far. Third and goal at the three. Thomas going to receive the toss. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. That was a nice long drive by the offense that time, and it stalls out. But good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the board. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. He'll go ground, and he'll go to the left. When you have a defense, it's not playing good techniques. They're selling out, overplaying plays. Well, you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Burleson's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. The Lions possess the football and try to take advantage of a big gainer right at the end of the third. Three, three. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Second down coming up. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Game's 20. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, but it's incomplete. Good job that time by the defenders. Read the quarterback, he sees the receiver, gets in good position and knocks it away. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. And they can't connect. Yeah, this defender probably could block a lot of shots in basketball games too. That's a, just a wonderful job, good timing, and he swats the football away for the incompletion. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Third down and 10. Going across the middle, secures it with two hands. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. They've got a first down now after that catch. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. Second down here. Trying to work that left side. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Hard to complete a throw when you got defensive linemen up there making sure that the pass never gets past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the quarterback's got to do a good job of sensing it and seeing it, but also the offensive linemen stay engaged with the defensive players. When you're engaged, it's hard for them to jump up and knock these throws down. It'll be a third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Bush is lined up in a single back formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it. Off cleanly. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First and 10. Thomas has got it on the handoff. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Daniel Thomas is in the backfield. Hey, man, 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 man. 
second and 12. Then he's intercepted. Ball is out. Recovery by the offense. Nice tackle. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. First down here after the completion. Daniel Thomas carries the football. They've got him down there. Number 33. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Second and seven, eyeing that left side. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and ten. And the give now to Daniel Thomas. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. And the drop back. That's an interception. He stacked up at that point. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. First down, offense readying for the snap. The handoff to Reggie Bush gets past the first wave. What a run by Bush. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded at that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They'll stay on the ground on first down. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out? This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Trying to make something happen. He fires it in there tight. So anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. After the long game, let's see what they do here. He sends the halfback in motion. Throwing now to his left, brings it in. The Lions now move the chains. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. That reception gave them the first down. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Coming up, second down. Throws to the right. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Lions set to kick it. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. 
And that's Steve Abdullah who brings him down. The jumbo set on the field. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. Nobody cares. Just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw it short to the running back and look at those extra yards after the short pass. And pick up about four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Second and six. Throws the pass. Dustin Keller makes the catch. When you have a lead in the fourth quarter, you like these short completions because you pick up yards and that clock keeps moving. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Thomas going to secure the handoff. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down and 11. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Third and 11. Airing it out. But it's incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The Dolphins in position now for the field goal try. Flag is out. And he puts it through for three. Offside defense. The penalty is the decline. That last play will hold up. Dolphins set to kick it. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Setting up in the pistol on this play. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Looks around, and it's Wake who's in the face of the quarterback. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Split backfield here. Down the field. And they can't connect. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Looking at every option. But they can't connect. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. We're going to punt it here on fourth down. And Pettigrew in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Middle, ball's loose the offense was able to recover the ball that's going to do it the clock hits zero and this game has come to